Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son, who the world inwardly calls Jesus. It's the brother Yahira Da, the WFI Indiana camp, coming at y'all with a quick cold cut through the spirit. I'll just remember this one thing that the scriptures, you understand, is is it's for your learning. All right, you should, it's wise to go back, read these accounts, read these different things, and understand that, hey, you're supposed to learn from this stuff. You're supposed to take away things from it, right? Not just read it to try to know stuff or, or whatever the case may be, but ultimately to, to learn from our righteous forefathers and foremothers and also learn from the wicked ones as well on what not to do. All right, or you learn things how to do from the righteous ones, regardless. All right, a lot of times when people um, get a number of years under their belt and it's truth, uh, you tend to just focus on trying to gain knowledge or, or this or that. You in the dark sayings and parables and, and the deep prophecies and so on and so forth. You right, but you got to remember also as well that hey, these things that's in the scriptures is there to help you grow spiritually. All right, not just there for you to just say it's a good story, All right? So this is just strictly a, a, a reminder, right? To make sure that you learning and growing from these precepts and the scriptures tell you that, right? And that's all we gonna get, right? Let's go to the book of, uh, we gonna go to first Peter. All right, let's go to the book of uh, first Peter chapter two. And verse 21, it says, For even hereunto were ye called, because uh, Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Right? So the things that Christ went through, guess what? It was for an example. When you think about the trials and the tribulations that he went through, the the, the his family turning on him, all right, him praying to the Father understanding that there were certain things that he wouldn't have imputed unto him. Like when he prayed to the father in the book of Luke chapter 21, or it's like in Luke chapter uh, 22, right? And 42 on down when he prayed unto the heavenly father that he would take the cup away. But ultimately the Lord, I mean, Yahweh Shah, he knew that he couldn't have that happen. But what did the father do? He went and strengthened him. Sometimes that's what the father do for you. You might pray something, and the Lord don't take it away from you, but the Lord instead He strengthens you to be able to endure it. All right, or, or like I uh, like I brought up uh, already, how His own family, you understand? Hey, they, you know, they didn't all believe. All His brothers and sisters didn't believe in Him, right? And guess what? You're gonna have people in this truth, or you're gonna have you in this truth. You're gonna have family members that think you crazy, that think you just you you on some cult stuff, so on and so forth. Guess what? Yahweh Shah went through that. All right. Guess what? Yahweh Shah grew up in the hood. Right? You may be in the in the not the best situation growing up. Or even when you grown now, you might be struggling and so on and so forth. Guess what? He did too. All right. You might have friends that try to get you jammed up or turn their backs on you or whatever the case may be. Guess what? Yahweh Shah did too. All right. So guess what? You're supposed to learn from him. Right, I'm gonna read that one more time. This is the book of First Peter, chapter two, and verse twenty-one. It says, "For even hereunto were ye called, because Hamashiach has suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth." You see that? So all the things that he went through is not just, of course, he went through it for uh, for uh, us. You understand? But he also went through it for us to be able to look and see him and say, "Okay, this is how he handled it." All right. Okay, let me try to model that. Or guess what? He went through trials and tribulations, and this is. Hey, guess what? He, he prayed to the Father. When he went through those different things. to say he prayed more earnestly. All right. In the same book in uh, uh, Luke chapter twenty-two. All right. So these different things is beautiful to take after. And he told you. He told you to take after him. All right. Let's get that in the book of uh, Matthew chapter eleven. All right. It's the book of uh, Matthew chapter eleven. In verse 29, it says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. So even Hamashiach, Yahweh himself told us to learn from him. All right. And that's what we ought to do in these last days. 
right? So you got Yahweh Shah himself telling us to hey, learn from him, learn from these examples, right? Let's go to the book of, um, actually, let's go to the Apocrypha real quick. Right, real quick. Let's go to uh, Syrac chapter 2 real fast. All right, this is the book of Syrac chapter 2 and verse 10. And it reads, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So you have to understand that, hey, when you put your trust in the Lord, all right, that, hey, you, you're you not going to fail. You put your trust in the most high God, and guess what? Hey, he, he's not going to forsake you. He's not going to leave off from you. When you come to serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth and learn from the scriptures that he's given us, right? Hey, you, uh, uh, Lord willing, you fare well in this thing, right? Let's go to the book of Maccabees real quick. First Maccabees chapter uh, 2. And... Uh, 51. Right, this is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2 and verse 51. And it reads, Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. So even Mattathias, he gave wise counsel to his sons and told them to do what? A call to remembrance the acts of your forefathers. Understand what they did and what they went through. Understand the faith of Abraham. All right. Understand the courage of all these different men. Understand how men put their trust in the most high God. And guess what? They weren't let down. They didn't fail, man. And that's what we got to remember as we continue to grow in these last days, especially with all these prophecies going up and coming to pass. And World War Three on the rise. You got these different pestilences coming out. You got new diseases being created, so on and so forth. And you got to make sure that you're growing in the spirit. All right, you can know this and that and that and this, but are you growing spiritually? Are you becoming a better servant of the Lord each and every day? Are you striving for that every single day? Or are you just, are you in the same, are you in limbo? Or are you in the same state that you was two months ago? All right, six months ago, a year ago. Make sure that you're growing in the spirit. And how are you doing that? Prayer, fasting, and, right, let me get this real quick. In the book of uh, 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 2 Timothy, classic. It's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works all right so going back to the precepts going back to the scriptures all right and learning from them taking these things away to better yourself taking different attributes from each forefather or foremother and applying it to yourself and trying to grow in those areas to try to ultimately be perfect unto the lord as he commanded us to be all right Let's get the let's go to the book of uh, how much time? Alright, uh let's go to the book of First Corinthians real quick. Classic, chapter 10 and verse 6. It says, Now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Alright, so Paul, right, is talking to the uh Corinthians, the people in the church of Corinth. And telling them, hey, these things that I'm telling you about, hey, these things are our examples that we should learn to not do what they did. All right. So, it, yeah, you can all obviously you can learn from righteous forefathers and foremothers. But guess what? Hey, you got to learn from the bad things that happened as well that our forefathers committed and learn. Hey, hey, don't do that. Obviously, if you see a lion in the street this way, right, you see a man go that way and he get torn to pieces. Don't go that way. All right. You see something bad going on over there. All right. And people getting done uh, bad. Go the other way, brother. All right. Why would you go? Right. Or somebody touch a stove and they get burnt. Why would you go and touch it and do the same thing and get burnt? 
all right? But instead, try your best, you understand, to learn from that and say, okay, that's what happened to him. All right, let me make sure I stay far from that. Let me stay far from that sin, all right? And let's get this real quick, all right? Classic in uh, Second Peter. All right, it's the book of Second Peter, chapter. So, like, it's the book of Second Peter, chapter one and verse ten. It says, "Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure." How you make your calling and election sure? Obviously, by growing in the Spirit every single day, learning. All right, how to be better? How to be a better servant? to the most high God, how to be a better brother, how to be a better sister, how to be a better father, how to be a better mother, how to be a better son, daughter, etc., etc. All right, and how do you do that? Obviously by reading the precepts and the scriptures and the law and learning from it. Learning from these examples that set forth for us in these last days. All right? It says, "For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail." All right? So if you build in yourself off of the precepts in the scriptures, guess what? Lord willing, you should never fail. All right, so this is just a reminder to make sure that, hey, we focusing in the last days as well on growing in the spirit, right? And perfecting yourself in these last days for the heavenly father, man, right? And, and going back to these examples that's left for us, right? To these accounts, man, and actually learning from them and applying them to yourself, not just reading it just to say, you know, what it is or the account that it's talking about. All right, so Lord willing, this is edifying. Kwam Yasha'Allah, Shalom.